Hey, what's up everybody? It's Marcus. In today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes on this reel-to-reel -reel tape boudoir shoot that I did in studio. And I'm gonna give you guys some advice on how to pull off an in-studio boudoir shoot, a fun one with some cool little props. I'm gonna start doing these quick little BTS videos so I can give you guys some insight on how I pull these off and just being creative instead of doing constant reviews. So let's get into this video and I'll show you how I made this happen. And please go to ProPhotoEdits.com where you can download my Lightroom presets and Photoshop actions. Every image that you've seen me upload here on YouTube and on my website, on my Instagram, has been edited with these presets and my Lightroom actions. I want to let you guys know that my course is up right now. It's my creative lighting course and uh, photo editing course. So this is like a bundle. You're going to learn how I do all my creative lighting in studio. Um, every piece of gear that I use, I break it down to why I choose the colors that I choose. Um, every single thing. No stone is left unturned. And then we're going to hop into Lightroom. You get my Lightroom presets for each file. There's six in there right now. There's going to be 12 by the end of the year. Then we'll hop into Photoshop. And I give you screen recordings of me editing each one of these shots so I can show you how to um, really up your game on both sides shooting and editing and I also just uploaded two new courses this is the light bending technique that you've seen on my Instagram go check my Instagram out I'll link it and um, this is all done in camera with minimal gear and I'll show you exactly how to do that and um, I also just finished uploading the uh, complete and partial silhouettes that you're looking at right now this is totally different than how you expect it to be done and um, it's not very expensive to do at all so I also just finished uploading this uh, user request video how I stretch to get around the Instagram crop and how I export things to give them extra pop for social media so that's in there now too so the first thing that I do when I'm setting up shoots like this is obviously finding the props so I went on eBay and I found um, these old reel to reels I think I paid uh, ten dollars for them it's just movie reels one of them had this old funky movie on it that it was just it looked kind of stupid another one had um a reel from a uh rolling stones concert which is kind of cool i still have the tape and uh, they come with so much tape on them that you never really run out of tape i even loaned it to my buddy and he did a shoot with them as well and we still have a ton of tape left but um i was more concerned with just actually having real props these were like 10 15 bucks a piece and i got three of them maybe four um and they had tape on them as well and then i bought this one back here that you can see this little plastic one i didn't use it had extra tape that um we could use to um, cover her in tape so then um the next thing is finding what you can use as another prop so if you need i had this chair in the studio one of several and i wanted to get colors right right so we're doing like we have a canvas back here from clot studios um this is like the orc style canvas um and uh then i got this chair i pulled it in it's a brown so we're doing all neutrals and browns i love neutrals browns you know like warmer tones and then the goal is how do you light it you know so i went with a uh i'm using my newer it's like an 80 watt um led back here for a little bit of rim light hair light and i just went with basic and i didn't use any um over the top lighting and to light everything from the front i'm using the 48 inch parabolic celine's um with a grid on it and uh, my 8600 inside of that so one thing that i always do so i don't waste my time and anyone else's time is i take some shots with the lighting that i want before i even get anybody in the frame or anything like that um just to see are my colors right are the color schemes right and you can see she brought her old school tv and it fit perfect browns neutrals um grays everything looked perfect in there so i wanted to get my lighting before i put her in there just to make sure the color scheme works so we didn't waste a bunch of time on this because we could always do a different idea but i found that everything was looking cool so we just went ahead with the shoot and started wrapping her up in tape and um trying to find our angles so the lighting is so simple if you look in the top right hand corner you can see that little black speck that's the edge of my 48 inch parabolic with the grid and i'll show you another angle here of how i have it angled down that's the um 48 with the grid on it of course to create a little bit of natural vignetting and i didn't really move it back and and forth i mean you have to use your eyes and just judge um but i move it higher and lower depending on her pose because i want the shadows to always be under her chin and i want them to be from the side i don't want it to be like totally um 90 degrees up and down with her because i want to create a little bit of shadow play here so my main concern here was covering you know the booze with tape so 
<laughs> I had to like get creative. I wanted to wrap a little bit around her to show that it's, you know, the tape is in the frame. And I'm, if you can see her face, I'm always trying to have her face angled nose to light. You want to keep the nose towards, towards the light. So um, I'm having her reposition and, you know, if I get her in a pose that I like, just you know, swing your head up towards the light. Make sure everything's covered. Swing your head up towards the light. And then I fire off and we get a frame. And um, I've moved everything in the position I want for the 35 millimeter. Stuff is like closer to me to go out of focus in the frame. The tape rolls are coming closer towards me. And um, every, there's a lot going on. When there's this much going on, you have to keep looking at your uh, your uh, LCD and just see what's wrong. I, got, I can't fix stuff in post, like moving stuff around in the frame. So I got to get it right in camera. So we had a few minutes left, so I want to do a quick little brown look. So we had like brown lingerie, a brown, a brown cloth drape that we use here. And I'm using my um, my whole lighting technique that's covered in my course. I can't get into it here because it's too much to go into. It's covered in depth in my course as well as a lot of other stuff, retouching and everything else. And of course, this is YouTube, so I can't show you a whole lot from this side of the shoot either. But um, I always try to keep it classy and fun. But let's hop into Lightroom and look at some of these files. So we'll look at some of these files and this is from the uh, the R5 with the 35 1.4 L2 and I'm um, at 1 2,000th of a second and um, I had a, uh, a, I think it was a Dream Effects filter on there just to make it a little bit softer and this is with uh, the editorial, one of the editorial presets in my pack and you can just reset it and see what it came out of camera in as and um, since I was doing 35 I left this side on here and I could just crop it in post I didn't want to get too close and lose some of these reels going out of focus and uh, that's with the preset on it and then I cropped it additionally before I put it on um, Instagram uh, here's another file uh, without the uh, the dream effects filter it's a little bit sharper i like this a lot you have um it was kind of kind of a uh, an, an idea that we kept working around trying to figure out where can we put these in correlation with the camera to get them going out of focus or in focus uh the white wood floor that we have down and then um this backdrop so we ended up here and i'm lighting from above over in this in this direction with the uh, parabolic with the uh, grid on it so it can be a little bit more punchy with the grid so you're getting a little bit of this vignetting up here which is kind of cool because it draws your eyes into where you want to be same preset on that file another shot this is probably my uh, favorite shot um of this series and this was with the 51.2 the rf and i'm all the way up at one eight thousandth of a second um it didn't really matter i just dial in my light as i see it um same preset and i did some skin retouching in photoshop that's why that's flattened out and you can see that um i had to move everything back a little bit farther since the uh, 35 will let you you know expand the frame a little bit the 50 kind of compresses it so i had to move stuff back a little bit closer to her and it's all about the pose um, for a lot of these shots Here's another one with the 51.2, same thing. I really like this one a lot too. Cover just as much as we needed to cover with the tape. Have everything in the frame. And I think I, I cropped this bottom part off here with the, you see the wood floor ending there in the studio. Um, everything's kind of clumped up down here at the bottom. Uh, it was pretty cool, it was fun. I was happy with this shoot. So until next week guys, it's Marcus signing off. I love you guys. Until the next video, I'll give you some more BTS videos and I'll give you some more creative videos and then we'll do some more reviews. Stick around for my 51.2 ultimate review for like two years and a ton of images coming up soon.